Now, I am really happy with this phone. The other phone was doing the same thing, but it was on um, my end in AT&T. They had put me on a $60 plan instead of a $65 money plan. So you didn't get all the use out of your phone that it was able to uh, uh, give you. So let me tell you about the first time I went down to the regional office after making a grievance against Dr. Reardon. Now, from Karen handing me the paper, the director's secretary, a torque suit paper, she didn't tell me that I had to get my own lawyer. I've never sued a doctor before. I never had to. I took that paper to Building 24 because I said, well, where do you take this paper? Where do you mail it? What do you do with it? Oh, you take it to Building 24. I'm being naive. I go down there and said, um, <clears throat> well, I have a grievance against Dr. Reardon. And, and um, can you help me understand what this is? Oh, we can't help you fill it out. Right there, I should have known that there are their lawyers. Instead of them telling me so, they gave me some kind of um, investigator from Michigan. Instead of telling me, we're not supposed to be helping you and we're not helping you. I said, how can she investigate my case from Michigan? If I uh, tell her that I stood by Dr. Reardon on his floor and um, that man said, I'm not letting you out of my care in front of the VA police, how could you investigate that from Michigan? Little did I know, it is their lawyers, not mine. It is, they're, they're like enemies compared to uh, friends to me. They let that went on 180 days, only to come back and say that they found no fault with, uh, with Dr. Reardon. So I said, oh no. So another guy picked up the case. Now they're just playing with you. He said, well, I'm going to handle the supervisor. He said, look, man, I'm going I'm to I'm handle it. I'll, I'll fill it out. Another 180 days go by. I ain't heard nothing from my, none of them. I ain't been up to the VA. All of a sudden, I get a paper telling me to go to mental health. And I've been out of the system for a long time. And uh, so I go to mental health because what it was, he had put on uh, that I wanted pain and suffering and service-connected disability, which he didn't know that I was 100% service-connected. So it, it made me look like an idiot to anybody that read that paper that was involved. So I go to mental health. I said, what's this about? They said, well, shit, we don't know. Maybe it's because you ain't been here in a while. Little did... Uh, they know that I've been through that before when I was in a year-long drug program getting my 100% in Toma, Wisconsin. If you miss that appointment uh, and that evaluation uh, as part of your service-connected thing that you're trying to get, they will put your paperwork back on the bottom if you get it at all. And that's what it was. How can I get service-connected how I can get pain and suffering, but how can I get service connected from a um, um, a malpractice dispute at the VA? It it made me look like an idiot to anybody. And so when I told him about it, I said, "Man, why did I get this paper? You know, you you said you wanted um um." pain and suffering and service connected. I said, man, I ain't never said nothing about service connected disability. I already have service connected disability and I can hear him fall out the chair because why should any black man in, in Phoenix have a hundred percent service connected um, period? I can't even get the help from the VA. Why should they give me service connected? If, if I was um, in Phoenix. I know he don't think I was born here. If I was born here, I wouldn't have the problems I'm having today. But anyway, 
and then he started asking me, I said, look, man, I've been having invasive surgeries everywhere, every VA I go to, because a lot of times when I relapse or something, I have a lot of poison in my skin and, 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 and whatever. What hospital do you go to? I'm like, well, damn, don't you know? You said that you have all of my records of all the hospitals you went to. And when I started repeating them, you could see that he was trying to write them down. Instead of telling me that I'm, we are the lawyers for the doctors, we are not the lawyers for you. They went on with this masquerade. I've heard nothing from it. So I go back there. I said, look, let me see what you wrote on my records that you said that you sent to Washington, D.C. They called the police on me. I waited until they got there. I looked them in the eye and I, and, uh, not got, I wasn't animated. And I told him um, what they said. And this guy talked to me like, uh, like he was all a tough guy or something. Tell him, I'm handling your stuff now. He didn't come out. Another guy came out pointing at something on a paper telling me as I'm talking to the VA police, I'm telling him that I need to see what they wrote and sent into Washington, D.C. He didn't send shit in. So all this time from from there, it's almost been a, a year. I've heard nothing. He lied in front of the VA police and me. I go to the regional office and tell him about it. He said, well, man, you know, if you put a grievance in against a doctor and you sue him for malpractice, you might lose your 100 percent. What? What are you talking about? So this morning when I went and I was talking to the information desk about DAV, I was telling him about what the guy at the regional office said. A Vietnam vet. I've never seen. Sitting up there by the lemonade stand at the at the information desk, he said the same thing. Oh yeah, you might you're gonna probably lose your disability, man. Is you some kind? I didn't tell him that, but I was I was thinking, man, is you some kind of fool, or do you think I am? The lady that's always there, never missed a day by the lemonade stand, turned around sideways because she couldn't stand to hear the bullshit he was he was spewing out. Just bullshit, man. And study one vet helping another, he, he ride along with some bullshit. So, I tell you what, I'm going to go up to the regional office again. And I'm going to talk to somebody over the guy that told me I'm going to lose my disability by having uh, a malpractice suit in on a doctor. After all, I thought when you go to the regional office and you had a claim against somebody doing something wrong to you, it had nothing to do with the money and the disability for a skin condition that I have from the service, and you're talking about taking it away. Somebody going to answer for it, man. I was going up there to apologize to them uh, about two, th three weeks ago because I said, what part have I played in being so rude? They don't deserve it. You should see the emergency room now. It's all remodeled and, and, and two or three people in there, patients. And a doctor telling me that instead of getting something equivalent to Neosporin at the emergency room, I could go to the store and get it. That's what she told me this morning. And I said, well, man, why should I have to pay and go to a store to get Neosporin when I'm a veteran and you're telling me it probably won't do any good when, when it's been doing um, great for me because it keeps the skin uh, soft. And some of the hair follicles pop through the skin and I don't have that infection anymore. And you tell me that you don't think it will do any any good. But uh, on, on, on top of that, you can go to the store and get that. I said, man, so you saying I have to pay for something rather than get it here for free. And she 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 didn't say nothing because she can't say nothing. Went back there for, for the, uh, the longest until I said, look, I walked out the, uh, that little room, I seen the nurse, and I said, you know what, whatever she's going to give me, which probably won't amount to nothing, she can mail in the mail because I'm hurting too bad to sit here to, to go through this shit. And I left.
That was my day today. Thank you.